Well, hey guys, thanks so much for checking out this video today. If you're watching this, you want to know how do you fix your water dispenser line in your fridge, whether it got clogged or is leaking. So I'm gonna show you how you can do that today. First thing you wanna do is make sure that you unplug your refrigerator. As you can tell, none of the lights are on mine, so it has been unplugged. So that's the number one thing you need to do to get started. So after you have done that, you're gonna remove this front panel from your fridge. Um, you can start by, again, taking out this drip tray, then removing this front panel. It might look a little different on yours. On mine, there's a screw right here that I need to remove. I'm gonna remove this, and then I'm gonna take the panel off and be really careful when I do that. Um, on other models, there could be multiple screws right here, but you're gonna need to remove this front panel. Mine is gonna pull off. Other, other options might be to pull up, but you're gonna be really gentle with that um, once you get there. And another thing you can use is a putty knife. And so that's one of the things I'll be using as well as a putty knife to kind of pry it open to get in there in order to get all these little clips out. And I'll show you what it looks like here in just a second. So I went ahead and removed the screw off of this panel right here. And what I was talking about earlier is you take your putty knife and you just kind of stick it right behind the panel and it just kind of gets going a little bit and it will just pop off on your fridge right there. You can even slide it up the side if you need to as well. It depends on how tight this panel is. Mine was really tight and I've been able to just kind of maneuver it off a little bit. So I'm gonna put this back. You can take this panel off and then keep a hold of it. And there's a piece right here on the back that you're gonna to need to open up, but I'll show you what that looks like a little closer. So on my model fridge, there are multiple little clips. You can see there are two right here in this unit and there are also another one right here. So you're gonna go ahead, remove those clips so that you can take this front panel off. Once you're taking this front panel off right here, and some models you will need to take this uh, part right here off as well in order to get to the water line. But for mine, you don't have to because the water line is actually connected and all part of this. One thing you will need to do is make sure that you pull this water line out of the connector right here in order to make sure we can get it all out once we take it off at the bottom as well. So you can go ahead and pull this out. You can leave that right there and we'll take that out in just a second. The next thing you'll need to do is remove this toe plate right here. And so um, a lot of times they have kind of clips in, so you need to make sure those clips are secured and you can pull this out. Once you pop those clips off, it should pull right out. Yes. And then you're gonna be looking for the bottom of the water line, which is right here. Once you find the water line, you're gonna find this little connector Find this little piece that it connects to right here. You're gonna depress the inside right there and it's gonna pull away and it might have a little bit of water so just be ready to catch any water that might come out of this. And guys, what I was showing right there is if you just pull back on this part of the connector, then the hose will come right out. So after you've disconnected it at the bottom from the connector, you can actually go ahead and just pull the water line out from the top right here and then we'll put the new one back in. All right, now that you've taken out the old line, you're gonna feed this new line up through the hole that the other line came from. Just gonna feed it up through here. Make sure you go real slow and if it does have any catches, you just pull it right back. This should just go right up and through there. Again, just be real gentle with it. Just kind of push it through there. If, it's, if it catches or anything, just stop. But then just watch for it as it comes out. And then I'll show you what to do up top. So again, what you'll do up top is you'll just take this tube and feed it back down through where the other tube was into the water dispenser right here. And you should be good to go. Then we're gonna go back down to the bottom and cut off however much you need. Once you got the top line situated, you're gonna come down here to the bottom. Look at where the other line comes and would connect to this connector. You're gonna kind of make an assessment right here. It's gonna be about right there. You can mark it if you'd like to. Um, I'm gonna do that just to have a little indicator where 
I know it's going to be. And then you'll need to get something where you can cut really flat a uh, piece of wood or anything like that would work. And then you're going to need to take a really sharp knife and you want a real good even cut. So I'm going to cut it right across here. All right, so that's a real even smooth cut. No burrs or anything on the end. And then you're just gonna cup it in. All you do is push it in, and to know it's locked, you can try to pull it out. And it should be locked in there. So now you should be good to go on this. Everything should be back connected. Water line should be back fixed. And now you need to just put it all back together. So guys, I realized you couldn't see that very well, so I wanted to show you all one more time. All you have to do is just push these two in, and it's connected, and you can pull them back out just to make sure that they are connected there, and you should be good to go. After you replace your line, you can go ahead and pop your tow panel back on. So again, you're gonna connect this panel right here back on there. You're gonna go ahead and make sure all of these pieces are connected back where they were on the circuit board. So you can put your front panel back on, go ahead and make sure you put all your screws and everything back in, and then also your drip tray should be back together, and then you can go ahead and plug it in and let's see if it worked. So after you've turned the power back on and plugged the water back in, if you were able to turn that off, you can check it, and it should be good to go. It's okay if it does sputter a little bit, might have had some air in there but it should be good to go and hopefully you have no leaking at the bottom either we don't have it everything looks good well if this video was helpful for you I would love to know that you can leave a like and subscribe down below and even leave me a comment on if this was helpful or if you have any questions I'd love to help you with that as well um, there's also some videos gonna pop up right here that have some other refrigerator or any other item around the house that you might need you can click on those as well but thanks again for checking us out today. Hope you have a great day and we'll see you in the next one.